Research in Tasmania is looking to improve nitrogen use efficiency in the Australian cherry industry by better matching nitrogen fertiliser rates with trees' actual nutrition needs. This research by Dr Nigel Swartz, Dr Dougal Close, Peter Quinn and PhD candidate Nadine Macker from the Tasmanian Institute of Agriculture is measuring cherry tree demand for nitrogen and tracking nitrogen as it cycles through the soil plant atmosphere system. This research will guide the development of best management practices for optimising nitrogen fertiliser use to lift productivity and quality while stopping nitrogen that is surplus to orchard needs from entering the environment, either as a nutrient pollution in waterways or as the damaging greenhouse gas nitrous oxide. Hi, my name is Nigel Swartz. I'm a research fellow at the Tasmanian Institute of Agriculture and uh, I'm leading a four-year project looking at uh, nitrogen use efficiency and, uh, and just general nitrogen use in, in cherry orchards. Uh, we'll be looking at the movement of nitrogen through trees, uh, we'll be tracing the fate of nitrogen after it's applied and looking at ways we can optimise nitrogen use efficiency uh, in cherry orcharding. Uh, we're working with a grower from the Wandon Valley Orchards, uh, James Clements, and he's helping us set up the trial and uh, he's provided us with 24 trees to excavate to develop a better understanding of, of how nitrogen is tracked uh, and moves through trees over the course of a season. Hello, I'm Peter Quinn. I'm a research fellow with the Tasmanian Institute of Agriculture, working with project leader Nigel Swartz on looking at nitrogen use efficiency in this cherry orchard. We're applying nitrogen at different timings using 15N enriched calcium nitrate. But by using a, an elevated the amount of 15N in the fertiliser we're applying, we're able to trace where that goes in the tree. Uh, so we're looking at different timings of um, nitrogen application, both pre-harvest, post-harvest and split 50-50 between the two, um, to see how that affects the efficiency of nitrogen uptake, the fruit quality um, and losses to the environment. We're going to excavate the trees at various timings and analyse where the nitrogen has gone and it's been distributed through the plants to uh, see if different applications in terms of timing affect the efficiency of its use. In terms of, from the grower's perspective, um, reducing environmental losses can help. Um, well, if they're applying too much nitrogen, it's going to go to waste, which is not only harmful for the environment, but it's basically wasted dollars disappearing when they don't need to apply so much. Um, in some crops, certainly the uptake of nitrogen can be very low, and we don't really have a great deal of information of how that applies in cherry orchards, so that's one thing we're looking at. The end goal is to uh, create a, a nitrogen budget so that we can advise the growers on the best timing of application and how much they might need to put on to maximise fruit quality and yield. In the research, nitrogen is applied using fertigation, the same as is practised in commercial orchards. In a cherry orchard, you will find nitrogen in the atmosphere, in the soil and in the cherry tree itself. The research team is measuring this nitrogen as it cycles through each of these environments in varying proportions at different times. It's the cherry tree's ability to store nitrogen that affects how much and when it needs nitrogen from the soil. 